Hi, my name's Bee, and I'm one of the learning officers here at Tudor House and today we are down in the basements. Now this originally used to be a vault for storing things but during Tudor times the owner of the house made a lot of changes and one of them was to actually make the three houses into one and when he did that he also made this space down in the cellar a uh, kitchen and this would have been the fireplace and you can see it actually extended all the way over here. Now, actually, chimneys were not a very prevalent thing at that time, so this one's probably quite early. They didn't become more popular in the everyday Tudor home until later on during the Tudor period in Elizabeth I's reign. And when they did become popular, it actually revolu revolutionised the way that people lived because it could change the shape of their houses. Before that, quite often in a Tudor house, you just have one room with a fire in the middle to keep warm. But when you could have a chimney to take the hot air out of the house, you could move that fireplace over to the side of the room, which meant then you could split your house into different rooms and even have an upstairs as well if you could afford to. Now, the downside to this is that originally it was quite experimental, the way that they built chimneys. So they used perhaps not the ideal materials like plaster and wood, which would catch fire really easily. And because of this, there were lots and lots of fires uh, in Tudor houses that actually destroyed a lot of houses and even parts of towns over the whole of England. So people realised that you actually probably needed to regulate people's chimneys and towards the end of Elizabeth's reign they put in rules to make sure that the chimneys and fires were a lot safer. And actually a local man called S.A. Whitliffe was fined for his chimney, but he never actually turned up in court to find out what was gonna happen.